Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about VSEM KSDS file. So this is the agenda. We'll see what is a KSDS file, what are the different features, then we'll see how to define it and how to delete it. KSDS is known as Key Sequence Dataset. A key sequence dataset is more complex than ESDS and RRDS, but it is more useful and it is more versatile. We must code index inside define cluster command for KSDS datasets. While defining a cluster, you must code index in a KSDS dataset. It has both index and data component. In index component, we have the index part which points to the actual record and in data component, we have the actual data. Now these are some of the features. Records within KSD datasets are always kept sorted by the key field. Then records are sorted in ascending collating sequence by key. Records can be accessed sequentially and direct access is also possible. To access the records randomly, you, you need to give the key and then you can access the record directly. Records are identified using a key. The key of each record is a field in a predefined position within the record. Each key must be unique in the KSD dataset, so duplicate duplication of records is not possible. So while defining a cluster of a KSDS dataset, you need to define key and you need to define the length of KSDS as well. So now I will show you how to define and delete a vSAM cluster practically. We will start with KSDS definition. We will be defining KSDS through JCL. So I have coded one JCL to create one KSDS. In the previous video, we have discussed about cluster records, buffer size, keys, storage group, what is REC, SG, volume, free space, data and index. So in this video, we will be submitting this JCL and we will focus mainly on KSDS. As we have discussed this earlier, KSDS is known as key sequence dataset. A key sequence dataset is more complex but it is more useful and versatile. We must code index inside that define cluster command for KSDS datasets. Here you can see index. So this is the keyword which tells the system that it is an KSDS. Also, if you have defined index, you must specify the keys. Here it specifies the keys, like the key will be of first six characters and then uh, this one is, one is offset. In KSDS, we have one data part and we have one index part. So index component of KSDS cl cluster contains the list of key values for the records in the cluster with pointers to the corresponding records in the data component. Here index component refers to the physical address of a KSDS records. This relates the key of each record to the records relative location in the dataset. When a record is added or deleted, this index is updated automatically. Then we have data part. In the data component of KSDS cluster, it contains the actual data. Each record in the data component of a KSDS cluster contains a field with the same number of characters and occur in the same relative position in each record. So here we are talking about this key one, keys. So as we have discussed this, in KSDS, we have one key which we declare it in the cluster. Like while, while we are defining the cluster, we used to declare what's the key. So this is the only difference between uh, KSDS and ESDS. Here we give index and here we give keys. And also we have an index part which is not present in ESDS. KSDS is one of the most popular vSAM file which we use in main production reason. So we'll submit this. Here I'm using the same IDCAMS utility and then sysprint sysout. So we'll submit. We'll see. Okay. Here you can see max is zero. So it's a success. Now we'll go and check whether our KSDS is created or not. So we'll do a refresh here. Okay, it's created. Here you can see tutorial.point.ksds and then further we have data part as well as we have the index part. So this is our cluster, this is our data part and this is our index part. So normally we open a file by typing v or browse or edit. Here if you press v and enter, 
here it will say vsem processing unavailable you cannot directly open any vsem in 3.4 option for this you need to have a file manager or you need to use it using ditto d i d t o so we'll be discussing this in a while so first what we will do is we will put some data inside this ksds file and then we'll see how to open the data and how to edit the uh, how to edit a vsem file data so repro command is used to populate data inside a ksds so i'm using a simple command we use the same idcams utility and the command name is repro so here what we are doing is we are copying in file into out file so in file is referring to in dd in dd is our input file you can cop using repro command you can copy data from a non vsem or a vsem to vsem or a non vsem data set so like this is our indd this is our normal physical sequential file whereas tutorial.point.ksds is a vsem file so we will be copying data from a normal ps file to a vsem file so i will i will show you what data is present in input 1 and accordingly we'll see i'm opening a new window here this is our input file we'll open it in browse mode so here we are having data this is our key as we have declared 6 1 2 3 4 5 so first six characters will be keys and after that we will have data so now i will submit this acl here you can see condition code 0 do a refresh also a lot of options are available if you press i and hit enter here you can see what is the cluster data index known vsem page so you just need to mention the option here suppose if i want to see data in this so it it will not show me data but it will uh, list cat this command will be studying in in the last video so it will show like whether a data component is there or not to execute this we need to write exec enter here it is showing we have one data part for this ksds file so now we'll see how to view data in a vsem file come to the home menu press m this option may be different in your ispf panel it depends from installation to installation here you can see ditto 7 we'll type 7 now it is asking for which option you want to use vsem qsem disk tape control so we we need to access vsem so we'll write 6 here and press enter now these are the various options inside this vsem functions browse a vsem data set list vsem to card vsem print vsem to tape so vsem to sequential file so these are the options these are the functions which we can do on a vsem file So as of now we just want to browse it so we'll write one here and press enter give the vsem file name here enter here you can see the data length is 80 and from here the first six characters they are keys and then we have the record this is uh, protected because we cannot edit this we have opened it in browse mode so now suppose if you want to edit data or if you want to insert data directly without repro command what you need to do is go back write ve that is 10th number we say edit enter give the tutorial name like we say name here it is tutorial.point.ksds enter now this is in edit mode so we can do normal processing like i is to insert a row if i want to change this thing like i am changing this so you can see the options here f3 save and exit i will do f3 and it's uh, you can see ve completed so we'll again open it and check whether it has been updated or not and here you can see i am changing this record 
Now what we'll do is we'll insert a new record here. 100011. This is month record. Do F3. Enter again. So this record has been updated. Now we'll see the functionality of KSTS. Why it is different from a normal file. I will enter 1000 and 7 and I will hit enter. I am pressing F3. Here you can see vsim put rcx is equal to 08. So it is saying duplicate key. So this is the different difference between a normal file and a KSDS file. You cannot insert a duplicate row. You cannot insert uh, the records out of the sequence. So we will try that as well. We will delete this. Do F7. Suppose if I want to insert a record here and the record will be saying suppose if entering 11 enter do F3. Here you can say 11 is duplicate key so let me change it. I am changing it to 12. So I am breaking the sequence basically. Do F3. Once you open it uh, this it automatically formatted it so as you have seen we have entered the 12th row here and it automatically once we saved it so the 12th row came at the end so this is the main feature of KSDS here the records in the KSDS data set are always kept sorted by key field records are stored in ascending collating sequence by key records can be accessed sequentially and direct access is also possible we will be doing it in coming videos where we will be calling one KSDS file from a COBOL module and we will be accessing this file randomly. We will go back F3. Now what we will do is we have defined one JC, uh, KSDS. Now we will if you want to delete it, it then you need to do it through IDCAMS utility and we will be doing it through JCL itself. Open this. Here you just need to mention the name of KSDS which you want to delete. Delete KSDS file name and then cluster. Submit this job. You can see max is 0. It's success. Do a refresh here. Here you can see KSDS file. Once you refresh it, it will be gone. So the file has been deleted. So this is all about KSDS. In the next video, we'll discuss about ESDS.